What's up guys, this is Matt with Flagstaff Camera and today we're gonna to talk a little bit about film, going through the airport, and x-rays. Let's jump in. So the world is opening back up again and that means we get to go back on planes, we get to keep traveling, which is great. Um, but something that you should probably think about when you're traveling with film is the security measures that get taken uh, to keep everybody safe, which is great, um, are definitely going to ruin your film. There's kind of no two ways around it. In the olden days, when it was just straight x-rays, you could pretty much count on it being safe going through x-rays a couple of times as long as you were shooting film that was below 800 speed, right? And the TSA, or most of the TSA, will still sort of espouse this as their theory. They say, oh, if it's below 800, don't worry about it. That's sort of not true anymore. Um, so just a couple of things to keep in mind. Um, you don't ever want your film to go in your checked bags. If you're going to check bags, your film should never be in those bags because they use a really high intensity screening process that's going to ruin your film, period. So never check film. Now, when you're carrying it on carry-on, some airports are using newer CT scanners, which will also ruin your film in one scan. You can take a regular, beautiful, unexposed or exposed roll that's not been developed, and just passing through one of these scanners once will give you this incredible base fog, as well as this totally crazy pattern that goes through the entire roll of film. You can see what that looks like here. In order to avoid that, what I do, and what I recommend everyone do, is ask to have your film hand-checked. Kodak, when they did this whole process and when the CT scanners were first coming out, did a test. And they said, how many times can we really put like a regular roll of, say, Portra 400 through one of these scanners? And as soon as they realized that even one scan is going to ruin your film irreparably for all time, they released a nice Facebook post, and we'll show kind of what that looks like here. But basically, on that, that post, they have this beautiful image right here. And I what I do is I downloaded this from Kodak. Thanks, Kodak. Hashtag not sponsored. And I put it in my little Ziploc baggie of film. Sometimes you have a small bag of film. Sometimes you have a slightly larger bag of film. And I always put one of these in here so that when I ask to have my film hand-checked by a human being, not through the x-ray machine or the C the CT machine, I just hand them this. They usually are totally cool to just take it, they'll swab it, make sure it's not going to explode or whatever, and you're set. Here is, um, we've got a couple of side-by-side -side comparisons showing what happens to film after being passed through regular x-rays, after being passed through these new, new um, CT scanners, um, so we'll just kind of put those up here so you can see what they look like. Moral of the story is, if possible, hand check your film. If you have to travel with film, hand check it. Another option, and I know a lot of photographers who will do this, is they will ship film to their destination. Let's say we're going to somewhere cool. Bora Bora would be nice. And so have film shipped wherever you're going. Make sure that it's you know waiting at your hotel or your villa or wherever you are, right? And then shoot your vacation, your experience, and then ship yourself the film back or ship it directly to your lab. Yes, you're gonna pay shipping fees. Yes, sometimes there's gonna be some customs and that kind of stuff. But typically, film that's being shipped in the mail is not going to be x-rayed most of the time, right? You, when you think about where you order film online, generally it's not gonna go through an x-ray machine. It's gonna show up to your house just fine. So ship yourself the film back and forth or go ahead and have it hand checked by a real human being, comply with all the TSA rules and regulations, and 99% of the time you can say, yes, um, please hand check my film, I'm gonna push it or I'm gonna pull it two stops, whatever. Once you get into the jargon of photography and say, yeah, it's gonna be underexposed and they recommend that it gets hand checked, whoever's checking your film will probably just sort of roll their eyes and take the film and do it. Yes, it's a little extra work for them uh, and a little extra work for you to make sure it gets out of your bag and gets hand checked, but it's definitely going to be worth it because you don't want your film uh, to end up looking like this. Anyway, that's sort of a, a quick and dirty on 
Make sure your film gets hand checked. Don't run it through the CT scanners. Never, ever, ever put it in check bags. And whenever possible, just go ahead and ship it back and forth to your final destinations. Anyway, thanks for joining us. Um, we'll see you in the next video.